Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really hope that you stick around and subscribe for more. So today I am coming at you from my bathroom because my hair is literally so dirty and in very much desperate need of a hair mask and a good deep wash. So today we're going to be talking all about hair favorites, hair routine, wash day routine, hair styling tips, all of that. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, at the moment my hair is absolutely disgusting and I am so ready to hop in the shower, wash it off, have nice, fresh, clean hair. But before I do and before we continue this video, it's important for me to give you guys a little insight about my hair because if you're watching this video and want to take tips or just the products that I mention onto your routine, it's probably going to be more helpful if you know the type of hair that I have so you can know if it's gonna work for your hair type or not, you feel? Believe it or not, this is actually gonna be a very, very simple answer because this is 100% natural virgin hair. So that means I've never done any kind of treatment or color to my hair and I honestly love it. I think the craziest thing that I've probably done to my hair is cut it. I don't even have extensions. Like all of this is my hair and I love it. And I think at this point in my life, I don't want to do anything to my hair like I love my hair I love how dark it is and yeah as far as the products that I do use I always try to make sure that they're good quality and I also try to make sure that I'm not using excessive amounts of heat on my hair because I do not want to damage it by any means so in today's video I'm gonna be taking you through my wash day routine so I'm gonna be giving you guys a little insight about the products that I do use in the shower when I wash my hair and just my blow dry routine and just other products that I am loving for my hair so let me go hop in the shower and I'll be right back okay guys so I am out of the shower and I feel fresh and clean and all of it but we're not done yet. So usually I go in, take my shower, wash my hair, and at the end of it, I will put the hair mask and then come out and wait for about 10 to 15 minutes with the hair mask. And usually while I wait, I do a face mask. So today we're gonna be doing a face mask and I'm gonna be walking you guys through all the products that I do use in the shower. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. So I'm just gonna put my hair in a bun. That's so for the face mask today, we're going to be using the Tula Exfoliating Treatment Mask. I love this mask. I've been using it for a while and it just leaves my skin feeling so fresh and clean. I actually used to hate just wash days for my hair because, you know, I used to dread it. It's a whole process. But then I, the way I put it was like, okay, I can make this day into a pamper routine. And that's what I did. So now I kind of just look forward to wash days. So now that my face mask is on, I'm going to tell you guys about the products that I do use in the shower. So starting off, we have my shampoo and conditioner. These two are by Raw Sugar. I feel like you guys have maybe heard me talk about this brand, but I really, really like this brand because they're free of a lot of things that you probably don't want in your products and also they're cruelty free and vegan. So these are the Bounce Back Shampoo and Conditioner. They're the Mango Butter Agave and Carrot Oil. They're free of sulfates, parabens, and silicones and they're also color safe. So, And the reason why I like these two is not only are they from the drugstore, I get mine from Target and they're only like 10 or 12 bucks for each bottle. So that's awesome. But I do like them because I honestly feel like they really make my hair a lot shinier and healthy looking and bouncier. That's a way to put it. And that's probably going to be a trend throughout this video that all the products that I do mention are probably going to do that for my hair. And that's probably why I like them. But anyways, I like these because I feel like they really help maintain my hair feeling clean and fresh throughout my wash period, if that makes any sense. Like, 
The problem that I do have with other shampoos that I've tried in the past is that I felt like after two days, my hair started to feel really greasy and I hate that. Whereas with this one, it really makes my hair feel bouncy throughout maybe like five, six days, if, if anything. So I do really, really like these. So if you haven't tested them out, you definitely should. Now, another raw sugar product that I really, really like is this Healing Power Hair Mask. So it's the avocado, banana oil, coconut milk, and agave. And the reason why I really like this one is because I feel like this one really moisturizes my scalp while also leaving my hair feeling super shiny and soft. So I really like this one. So this one, I kind of interchange with another favorite hair mask which this one is the Kizu honey infused hair mask so yes this comes with a pricey price tag but guys i honestly think it's totally worth it not only does it smell delicious all of the products smell delicious but man this makes your hair feel so soft and looks so shiny and healthy and just amazing like if you've ever seen any of those like shampoo or conditioner commercials where the girls like this in slow motion and her hair just looks amazing this does it for you guys like this is amazing today i decided to use my gizu hair mask because i was feeling a little extra fancy but anyways these two are my favorite hair masks at the moment and i love them i just kind of interchange them i take a shower if i decide to use a hair mask on that specific day then i just pick whichever i want to use and that's pretty much it but both of them are really really good hair masks so if you want to get a drugstore one that's really really good then I really recommend this raw sugar one and if you want to invest a little more then I recommend this Gizu one but both of them are amazing hair masks so anyways it is now time for me to go wash my face and my hair and start blow drying my hair and go on with this video so I will be right back once I am looking a lot more fresh okay so I am done and feeling fresh and clean <laughs> um okay guys so now i'm just gonna take you guys through my routine of blow drying and styling and all of that stuff so the first thing that i do is take my hair out of the towel and brush it with my favorite hair brush which is the wet brush the reason why I really like this hairbrush is because I feel like it does a really, really good job at taking out the knots in my hair, but also is very gentle, so I feel like it doesn't really break my hair, which is something that I really appreciate. For starters, I really like using the Gizu Heat Me, Treat Me, Complete Me Heat Protecting Spray. Next up, I like using the Brioche Farewell Frizz, which is a blow dry perfecting and heat protectant cream. And I really like this one because I feel like it makes my blow dry look like I got it professionally done. So I just take about this much and then I try to focus it at the ends of my hair. I do my best not to put any product in like my roots because I feel like that makes my hair get greasier sooner so I try to just focus everything on my ends last but not least before we actually start blow drying I like to take a little bit of my Gizu honey infused hair oil this stuff is honestly amazing yes it is pricey a lot of the products are pricier but I think they're totally worth it and granted this has lasted me quite a bit like I've had it for a couple of months and that's considering the fact that my mom my sister and my niece literally sometimes come and steal this from me but it has lasted us quite a while and a little goes a long way and what I like to do is just take a couple of drops and focus them on my ends and I feel like that makes them look a lot healthier okay now it is time for us to actually start blow drying so I am just gonna take my regular blow dryer I think I got this from Target it's from Conair it's the Infinity Pro Conair blow dryer Guys, I am not a hair expert and I really hope that anyone watching this video does not think that I am a hair expert. This is just what has worked for me and what I really like for my hair. So any hair experts out there, please don't at me. <laughs> 
But anyway, so what I like to do is blow dry my hair with this um, until it's about, I want to say like 70 or 60% dry and then I'm going to go in with my other blow dryer. At this point, I like to take these hair clips which I got from Amazon, they were super cheap and I got a bunch of them, but I like to separate my hair into sections. Okay, so now that my hair is sectioned off into different sections, I like to take my favorite hair dryer which is this Revlon hair dryer. I actually don't know the specific name of it, but I know that if you see it, you know what I'm talking about. This stuff is amazing. Like if you've never been good at blow drying your hair with the round brush and the regular hair dryer, then this is such a lifesaver. Honestly, I could leave my hair be just after the blow dry because it looks good already, at least I think so. But today I kind of feel like giving it a couple of waves here and there, so I'm just going to go ahead and part my hair in two sections, top and bottom, and then I'm just going to give myself a couple of waves. So that's pretty much it for my hair routine. So at this point, I would be putting these no band hair clips. So before I finish off with today's video, I do want to tell you guys about a couple of other hair favorites. So the first one is this Invisibobble Traceless Hair Ring. I have one right here. These are freaking awesome because they really keep your hair up out of your face, but they don't leave marks or break your hair, which I really, really appreciate. Next up is the Way Volume Spray. So this one I would use whenever I want a little extra volume in my hair. So I would spray it whenever my hair is damp and before I start blow drying and I would spray it on my roots or this whole area. And then I will start blow drying it. It really gives you a lot of volume. So I really like this one. Next we have the Kristen S Weightless Shine Air Dry Cream. So this one I would use on the days where I wash my hair but I don't blow dry it. So I just apply this with the Yizu hair oil and just let it be, let it dry on its own at its own pace and yeah and I really like this one because it really leaves it shiny and looking and feeling super soft. Next I have the Briojo Volumizing Root Powder. With this one, be careful not to confuse it with a dry shampoo. It is not a dry shampoo. It's something that's going to give you volume. If you don't like the feeling of your hair feeling just dirty and heavy, then this is not going to be for you because this does give you just a little 
texture to your hair whenever you apply it. It almost feels like your hair is sturdy, but this is not a dry shampoo. So the reason why I like this is because on the days where my hair is feeling a little dirty, but I am I want to style it. I feel like this one does a really good job at giving it volume and just reviving it a little bit, but it is not a dry shampoo. So this is not for use as a dry shampoo, if that makes any sense. But for dry shampoo, I love the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. As you guys know, I do not wash my hair every day, so I do need some kind of product that's gonna keep my hair looking fresh and clean throughout my wash period, which is what I like to call the period of time between washes. <laughs> um, but I've tried many dry shampoos in the past and I always feel like they all end up making my hair feel oily and nasty and heavy and just not good so when I tried this one not only does it smell really good but it really just wakes my hair up whenever it needs to wake up um, so what I like to do is spray it leave it there for 10 seconds and then just kind of rub it in or brush it off with my fingers and then I take my blow dryer whichever one and then I just kind of blow dry it and take a brush and brush it off and then it makes my hair look fresh and clean and awesome. Last but not least, I have another IGK product and this is the Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. So this one I use on days when I style my hair and give myself these waves. So I like to spray it from the bottom up like so. And I feel like this just keeps my waves looking very beachy and nice. And I like it because it doesn't make my hair feel hard like other hairsprays do. So. That's why I like it and it also smells really good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Also, let me know down in the comments what are your hair favorites. If any of these products or items are your hair favorite, hair favorites, let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe because it's free and it's a fun time. So until next time, bye guys.